what is up everybody this will be my jungle tier list for patch 14.20 we're gonna go over everything you need to know about this new jungle patch and how it affected the meta so for this jungle patch a big thing that we're gonna address is leandris did get nerfed faded ashes received some very minor nerfs and that did impact some jungle champions but the ones that were abusing it very well for example like lilia and udir are still extremely strong but overall it did affect the jungle meta for starters, let's go over S plus category. Right now, we do see the Spider Queen in the S plus category. I did tell you guys she was very broken. She is broken, and the big reason is Sork Boots, Storm Surge, Shadow Flame, super good items. Magic Flat Pen is really strong right now. Her rework slash, not rework, but her adjustments and buffs she received, very good. E Flash is back on the menu, very strong. So if you're really good on Elise, you're going to win majority of your game. So she's a very strong, very good pick. They do have some nerfs in the future for her but i hope they don't really touch her that much sork boots also getting nerfed and that's a big thing for some of these jungle champs so graves why is graves op and overall he just looks very overpowered with the new item changes to collector it being a lot cheaper being very good for him ghost blade into collector it's surprisingly a very broken build path right now ghost blade is the one lethality item that is still very very strong collector having the price reduced to 2900 was actually very good for champions in the jungle because you want to spike hard, you want to spike fast, and you want to just maneuver as much as possible, plus all the buffs in the past. With Leandre's champions getting nerfed, it's very good for Graves, and Graves has just been performing way too good for how bad, or not bad, but annoying he is to play against. Diego, Vego, the top-tier jungler, how he avoided nerfs for so long. I never really truly understand. You have some champions in the lower-tier list that are just immune or not immune, but the opposite, infected with nerfs anytime they show any power at all. While champions like Vago are strictly immune to nerfs for so long, and it really is a long time coming. Vago very strong with Triforce right now, Kraken Slayer is still a very good item. As you can see, Vago will be very strong this patch. He might be getting nerfed next patch. I wasn't 100% sure, but I think he is. But those three are the top three junglers on the patch, and they're just performing very well. Two of them are getting nerfed. Graves might not be getting nerfed. So we'll have to see how that plays out. S category, Bully Bear. Bully Bear. I'm a big fan of Bully Bear. I've always recommended Bully Bear. Great champion. Did look like he was getting nerfed next patch. Very strong with the item changes. Roa, Iceborne Gauntlet, all strong items for him. He's performing very well. And he's a very deadly champion to play against. Very tanky. Very good after all the item nerfs because of how... He's good at abusing, you know, champ items that are really cheap and also tanky, Roa, dead man's really good on him. And he's just performing very well. Good full clear objective control jungle champion. And that's a big thing about the jungle meta is actually about how how it is right now. You know, playing for farm and objectives while also being able to gank is just in you know incredible value, right? A lot of champions struggle being able to do all three, and these champions like Volibear. Are able to do all three and that's a big thing about this jungle meta next we're going to go on to lilia lilia back in the jungle meta once again her just very happy that damage was nerfed all the items got nerfed so damage went down by a lot and lilia obviously very happy because she doesn't kill you in one combo she kills you over time and if she's able to live longer she can get her stacks she can heal more very annoying disgusting champion so i hope i never see her again very very great that they nerfed Leandries and Faded Ashes, but I really hope for the next patch, Faded Ashes just gets the bonus monster damage removed because why does it give junglers that are already fast clearing more damage to monster camps when they don't even need it? It already applies a magic burn. Why does it need to do bonus magic damage on top of that? Who Who's balancing jungle at Riot? It doesn't make any sense. These changes, eight months later, they nerf it. It's insane to me. Uh, this year for jungle... The balance has been completely garbage. I don't even know who's doing it, but it's just been very terrible. So moving on, next we have Nocturne. He's actually very strong. Next patch, Lethal Tempo. I'm cooking up a Nocturne video very soon. I'll show you guys. Nocturne very broken right now. Very good with slower games, and he's able to farm up and get ulti stocks. Lethal Tempo is actually very good on him. He is still okay with Conquer as well. It's up to you. Lethal Tempo is getting buffed next patch, and I think if it gets stuck slightly buffed for melee champions it's going to be really good for him so nocturne very good a high recommendation for me going into these next few patches i think nocturne is going to be a very beautiful pick 
for you to climb with. Zach, Zach is also just rising up in the ranks. He's able to kind of get away with his early clear by not getting punished by champions that should be able to punish him. But he's also able to scale really well tank items while also dealing a lot of damage. So Zach is actually very strong. He is dodging nerfs next patch, but his, his time will come if he stays at the very top because he's not one of those Viego champions who's immune for nerfs. Karthus, Karthus is very, very good because of the flat pen build. I think he's going to be affected a lot next patch because of Sork Boots being nerfed. I don't think he's going to be able to perform as well because that is a very big thing for a lot of AP junglers right now is the fact they can rush Sork Boots for very cheap, very strong item spike. And if that gets nerfed, champions like Karthus, you know, Fiddle, Lilia, Elise are going to feel the effects of that. Jarvan. Jarvan's very good right now. Very solid after the bust is passive. He's just a very strong pick. He did fall down in ranks a bit because Eclipse and Sender Sky, they did receive some quite nerfs. Like Eclipse especially was a very harsh nerf that did affect him, but he's still kind of getting back to where he was the patch before. So I would say he is S tier this patch. And he's in a very solid spot. So Jarvan, very good, very strong, solid pick if you like how he if you like playing the engage play style, he can be very good for you. Fiddle, obviously, we talked about a very strong full clear a a AP jungler. If you can get away with the early game being weak, he's not getting punished, so he's able to live longer, and that's a big thing. Skarner, disgusting champion. Why do they buff him, bring him back to the meta? Why did they rework him? So many questions. So much disgust for him. Very bad rework but he is very strong and he's still strong even after the nerfs so very annoying champion to play against just a solid tank annoying cc champion that's very strong in the current meta a tier a tier we have a lot of the goons and for starters kazix i did put him lower last patch but i underestimated ghostblade being still very good on him so ghostblade is a very strong item right now and if out of all the assassins kazix will be the only one who's actually good and he's a very solid pick right now if you want to play that play style. Hopefully there are more buffs in the future for, you know, the Lothadi items, which are absolute dog. The only one that's good is Ghostblade, all the other ones seem very over, over nerfed. Hubris also very good, but Hubris is an item that only some Lothadi junglers are able to pull off. Or if you're on ARAM, you always buy Hubris because it's a very broken item. Next, Udyr. Udyr is a solid 8 tier champion. The problem is... Leandri's, if it was just Leandri's being nerfed, he would still be S tier, but he also received a bunch of clear speed nerfs early game, and that did affect him, so I'm happy because I hate Udyr, and he's a one-trick jungler, so A tier on Udyr means he's very much out of our sights, he's not as oppressive as he once was, which is very good, and he, he still scales really well, but Udyr scaling is honestly not that scary, so... Good for us. We're all happy. Kane, blue Kane, not so good. Red Kane, it's actually quite strong right now. So the builds are very different. But Red Kane is in a good spot, especially low yellow. Red Kane is devouring people. So very, very good pick. Briar, not the strongest, not the weakest. She's just in an okay position. Problem with Briar is Blade the King, Blade the Ring King is getting nerfed, and that was a big core item that she was able to kind of utilize. Her not having the Blade the Ring King is going to be. Well, her having Blade Room Queen nerfed is going to affect her. So, unfortunately, we'll have to see how that plays out. Rek'Sai. The Queen gets no love. She's deserted into the burrow that she once came from. Unfortunately, Rek'Sai is in a bad spot. Even though she's A tier, she's A tier because one tricks are able to win on her because they are performing like they've never performed in their lives. Just really accelerating that win rate. For Riot to think that she's actually good, but she's not good. She's bad, and they need to buff her because she deserves it. Because she's a queen, she's a mother. She really, really deserves some love, and would love to see Rexai getting back in that category. Lee Sin, he did get buffs, but he's still relatively unknown. I would say he's good in like higher yolo, low yolo. He's not that good, so it's up to you if you want to play him. Belveth is a one-trick jungler. She's in a good spot if you know how to play her, but overall, she's just bad if you're not really inclined to knowing her abilities. Gwen is actually surprisingly OP, but not too many people know how to play Gwen jungle. She is getting nerfed next patch, maybe because she's really OP in top lane, but I think the nerfs might be a very big thing that would affect her in the jungle, so we'll have to see how that plays out, but she's a solid, very solid AP jungler right now. 
Warwick, a very strong stat checking jungler who's really performing super well right now and he's actually de devouring everyone. So if you like Warwick playstyle, he's definitely in a good spot right now. Ivern, a dirty little one-trick jungler who I despise, who I will not speak of. Moving on, Jin Zhao, very solid. His item, Bruiser, some Bruisers really got affected by the nerfs of items. They relied on, for example, Jin Zhao did rely heavily on items to stat check people. And that did negatively impact him. So he's just in an okay position. Master Yi... Mr. Yi himself. His items are actually performing quite well, but he's a hard champion to play, so you have to kind of know how to play his mechanics. Low you low, you can kind of out stat check people eventually, but overall he does take some knowledge on how his abilities work. Moving on to B tier Nunu. Nunu, beautiful, beautiful Nunu. We did see him by Inspired at World. How do you play Nunu? Well, you just roll your snowball into the enemy team, and that honestly works a lot of times if the enemy team is. Well, honestly, it works every time because enemy team doesn't know how to see snowballs. But overall, he's not that good because of how itemization is for him. His itemization is not that good. Leandre did get nerfed. He's not tanky enough to survive. And he's not AP enough to deal enough damage to kill people. So he's in a bit of a weird spot. Same thing with Hecarim. Not tanky enough to survive. Not enough damage to kill people. His damage is too low, especially with the item nerfs that he relied heavily on. So he's just in an okay spot. Jax, just a very... Weird champion in the jungle right now. Losing a lot of the items that he relied on made it very hard for him to be that same champion he once was. Kindred, not really in a good position in the meta. She can't really snowball, which is probably what she really needs to do, but it's just not happening. Shaco, the Jester. A lot of these champions are really affected by the item changes. Shaco is one of them, so he's not in a solid spot. And Shivana did get nerfed, so we're just unfortunately in a position where Shivana received a lot of nerfs, so she's just in a very okay spot. Better in Loyalo, but overall not too good. Diana, the once queen jungler, is in a bad spot because Nasher's tube is not that good, so that's just unfortunately the situation we're in. And also Talon, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish after this Talon one. I just want to talk about it because he's actually getting buffs next patch, so buffs next patch will be very impactful for Talon. I think it will help him in the jungle, especially if the items, little valley items, do get buffed as well. But we'll have to see what the buffs are. Hopefully, Talon can see a rise in the meta because a lot of people are interested in playing Talon jungle. Overall, I hope you guys like this video. C tier is. See you later. I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, good luck on the games and good luck on the climb.